Dana. <coughs> oh, hey, hey, I, I'm building a fire. That's great, but it's 75 degrees outside. Yeah, but I thought <laughs> we were gonna get dinner and I was gonna cook dinner. I'd love for you to cook, but we're actually at Easter Monish today. Oh. And we're I... gonna have elevated beef. Elevated vegan cuisine? <laughs> Tell me more. Well, there's mac and cheese. <gasps> Which I know is her personal favorite. Yep. But I'd love to see you put something on that. Well, I forgot matches or any type of kindling, <laughs> so I guess maybe I wasn't gonna build this a fire. We we're just gonna eat everything raw. Um, are we gonna go eat now? Yeah, do it. Okay, I'm Dana. I'm Mayhole. And this is Explore Vegan ATX. Do it. My name is Chef Craig and I'm the owner here at Bistro Vonish. Bistro Vonish has been open for five years as a trailer and then we were uh, for about two years before that doing supper clubs, private events, pop-ups, things of that nature. So becoming vegan made me really love food. Uh, I grew up as a very, very picky eater. So as I learned more about food and how it's produced and where it's produced and why we eat the things that we eat, I just decided that I really loved gaining all that knowledge and experience and wanted to just completely immerse myself in it. Menu development here at Bistro Vonish is a mix of being inspired by uh, maybe something that looks really good in season right now. Uh, peach season is a favorite of mine here, so we'll do a lot of peach items and peach specials during that time. Then there's some company classic items that we have on the menu all the time. Uh, we try to do our own take on these, uh, on these classic dishes. Our food trailer is elevated because we take the time to make things from scratch. Uh, our sauces are made from scratch, our seitan is made from scratch. We smoke here in the trailer. Uh, the seitan is smoked with a mesquite and apple wood. We think that if it's worth doing, it's worth doing from the beginning and putting attention into all those little details along the way to make something exceptional to eat. Our most popular dishes here at Bistro Bonish are not the ones I thought would be most popular uh, when we opened. Uh, mac and cheese, it should not have surprised me that that would be our most popular, but it is. What we do for our mac and cheese is all pan seared to order, so you get all those crunchy crispy as well as rich and creamy in the mac and cheese. Uh, but my personal favorite on the menu is our gnocchi that we do. We do gnocchi pretty much all the time, but we'll change the, uh, the veggies and the sauce and the things uh, that go with it to fit uh, what we think would be best on that day. The name Vonish comes from an old pronunciation of my last name. The pronunciation has changed from Vonish to Vanis, so we went with a phonetic spelling of the old pronunciation. Um, as a way to not necessarily put just my name into the menu, but also acknowledging that what we want to do is uh, cherish traditions and hold on to what serves us right now uh, and then change the things that need to be updated for our modern time. We make food that's good and it should be good no matter who's eating it and if you don't love it then i'll make you something you do enjoy it but um, it's not good vegan food it's great food that happens to be vegan so today we are eating do you know what we're eating yes i just learned okay something called arepas right sweet I've potato never had arepas before. yeah they're a latin american i don't want to yeah a latin american dish okay um i haven't had very many arepas the sweet potato ones Okay. We got some mac and cheese bus with Brussels sprouts mm. and some gnocchi. He's just digging it. He's not even waiting for me like, anymore. You know what? Season two. Dinner time. Forget Dana. Who are you? <laughs> okay, look at this beautiful thing. Beautiful texture. Uh huh. And what's on top? It looks like a jam and some sort of. It looks like a jelly cream. with the jalapenos. That's what it looks like to me. We could be totally wrong. Wow. Mmm. So great. I'm 
get some of this oil. Now he talked a lot about like mm. vegan food just being food, which I think is like a common thing that we keep hearing. Mm -hmm. And this is this is a perfect example of that. I mean, I think mm -hmm. this is delicious. Like there's there's a sweet side to it. There's a little bit of savory. There's like all these different flavors coming mm -hmm. through, which so, is really nice. Yeah, the sweet potato itself is um, actually really light mm -hmm. and it's crispy because it's fried, and then you get some of that that cream, that crema, that kind of gives that richness to it, but then it's adding that acidity and it's like cutting through this kind of sweet jelly relish, I want to say. I love that. It's good, I right? I love that jelly. I love like sweet, salty, explosion of flavor. Sorry. So, <laughs> arepas. Arepas. So, Fantastic. Right. These are really good. Super light. And you know what? It doesn't come up too heavy. Right. Like, you know, it's not weighing you down. Um, and from the plating to just the the presentation of it, it does feel very elevated. As this is a it does bistro garnish. Love it. Mm -hmm. Great. So moving on. Okay. So mac and cheese, which is one of my favorite things, or no Mine too. is one of my favorite things. What's next? What are you gonna choose? I don't what's, know. What's next? Mac and cheese. Sure. Now I love making Brussels sprouts at home. You do, but I don't. I don't know if I can do them properly. Like I, Why? Because I like them burnt, but then somehow I overburn them. A lot. <laughs> what do you mean you like them? Burnt? I like them charred. I like them charred. Okay, I was like just black. Yeah. Um, so I cook Brussels sprouts a lot with some type of pig fat, so pancetta okay. or bacon. I actually render bacon fat when I make bacon and stuff, so I always have bacon. Fat on hand. So elevated. <laughs> so uh, that's how I, I cook. Well, olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Olive oil and sugar. Brown sugar. No, I don't use extra sugar. Okay. In my Brussels sprouts. She's looking good. She's she's on a mission to. I'm on a transformation challenge. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. I love Brussels sprouts. I haven't had the mac and cheese yet. It's in here. There it is. Tell me. The mac and cheese has a little seared crust on it. I love that. Chef yes. Craig was talking about it. Yeah, they pan fry each mm -hmm. mac and cheese order, so you right. do get that crispy, right. delicious uh, pork part that I really like. Okay. I'm digging this together. I don't think I've ever had Brussels sprout mac and cheese before. Really? It seems like a really cool combination that people probably... Oh, black paprika on top, I think? We can use that a lot for mac and cheese. All right. Paprika, um, nutritional yeast, cashew, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I'm learning, guys. She's she's gonna become a little vegan aficionado. <laughs> I'm learning. So I like the crust sear because it adds an extra um, mm -hmm. texture to mm -hmm. it, so it gives it a bite, and it kind of plays with the like the bitterness of the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I like the chew. Mm -hmm. As far as the mac and cheese, because mm -hmm. you know I like my stuff mac and the cheesy. Cheese sauce all over. <laughs> I just have that image in my head for some reason of you, like queso running down your face. Thank you. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it's super, super cheesy, but it, it feels like it would hit the spot. Yeah, it de right? definitely has like a, a rich, creamy flavor, I think, with what he sort of mm -hmm. uh, categorized it. And I told you before, I don't like too much nutritional yeast, so I actually really like this. I thought you were going to say, you don't like too much cheese and sauce. And no, I'm like, no, no, no. I wouldn't do that to you. I know, because then I would really I quit. <laughs> no, um, no uh, it's, uh, but it does. It has that rich kind of flavor. And then, you're right, I, I, I don't taste as much of that cheese, but that rich kind of creamy texture with the Brussels sprouts and the crispy mac and cheese. I think it's, it's a great combo. I mean, I think it I think it really does, kind of for me at least, yeah. satisfy a little bit of that mac and cheese that I am miss that on now. And mm. it's still pretty light, mm -hmm. you know? It's still yeah. pretty light, so you feel like, I mean, I know I can eat for four people, but it doesn't feel like, you know, you're like stuffing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. Yes, let's do okay. it. 
This is another one of their favorites, the gnocchi. The gnocchi. So I love gnocchi. I've made it a few times. Each time it gets a little better. Um, and he uses almond cheese in it. He uses almond cheese and whatever seasonal vegetables to it today. Looks like we got some spinach. We got some microgreens. Beautiful plating. Mm -hmm. I love it. I right. love that. And we got some ciabatta toast. Mm -hmm. Now, um, love it. do you also like this burnt? Or yeah. And I saw them. They they were grilling the bread in the in the pan, which really does make a difference versus just like burning it. it in the toaster <laughs> and burning it. <laughs> I am a fool. I like burnt things. Okay, so I'm expecting some creaminess, and then kind of cut with this like bitterness of these microgreens. So let's let's find out. And gnocchi is the potato. Potato pasta. Potato pasta. I mean, you can mix other types of. Um, flowers and things in Chinyo. Mm -hmm. I love the seasoning. I love the flavor mm -hmm. on this. It's soft and tender. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> As opposed to hard, hard and, and bulbous. I don't even know what the opposite is. Bulbous. bulbous? No. We'll Not sure. Those are good fancy words for the, the day. Hashtag bulbous. Um, <laughs> And what is this? This little cream. I think this is the almond cheese cream. Oh! Oh, I thought it was in the Mm-hmm. That's a little Ooh, bit of a no, pesto? No, that's garlic. That's a garlic. It's like garlic like mashed. Mash <laughs> that's great. Right. too. That's great. That's so you really have like a lot mushrooms? of different components that he has on this dish, so. This is one of his personal favorites, so he gets to change up the dish all the time. Oh, and I love grilled veggies. Like this is so, so nice. There's some mushroom in here. There's carrots. There's tomato. This is great. Peas. I'm not a personal fan of peas, but fresh peas, yes. And this looks like they're fresh peas. So many things you don't like to eat. Which, by the way, Very Chef tricky. Craig said that he used to be a really picky eater. Right. So he started studying food and learning about veganism and getting interested in expanding. Is there something so wonderful about? and comforting about just toast. Yes. I love eating just plain toast every now and then and... Burnt? Mmm. Mm. Nice bit of olive oil. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> so good. Holy crap. What is it about? What is it about just a piece of bread that sometimes can just really satisfy you? You know, there's a quote that I like to say, nothing's as satisfying as carbs. Sorry. <laughs> Very true. Even this though. is a carbapalooza. It was. Oh my god, this is so good. Just come here for this toast. Does he get side over some toast? Uh, I would eat that mm. every day. It, it's the grill. It's the pan fried. You can do this at home. You know that, right? It's a lot of work. Okay. You heat up a pan with oil. Sir. Okay, so. Elevated vegan cuisine. What do you think? I have to say, I think what you touched upon earlier, super light, like I don't feel heavy bogged down. This is like a, you know, like it looks like a super rich fried dish, but it's super light. Like nothing feels like it's going to weigh me down or feel, you know, you're not going to feel like icky afterwards. Mm -hmm. like, like everything, even the, the mac and cheese was like creamy, but it still doesn't have that like, I kind of feel like sluggish, I guess, afterwards. What do you think? Um, yeah, I still personally want lots of cheese sauce, but I know it has a good cheesy taste. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm definitely giving that. And this gnocchi is like everything you could hope for in a great gnocchi dish. Mm. I love how he incorporated all the vegetables too. Mm -hmm. So it really like, really, there's like a lot of variety and there's a lot of different elements that really make it shine. And the seasoning. Mm -hmm. I think he's done a great job. I think he's absolutely elevated it in a really casual, comfortable atmosphere. So you can eat this like really fancy, beautiful vegan dish and you're still kind of like, you it's know. It's so unreal plate. <laughs> that is the first time I think See? we've seen that. It's elevated because it's like a food truck. It's a food trailer truck, you know? Absolutely. Um, so that's fun. And I'm going to finish all of this. There's going to be no boxes to go today. Oh, rude! Do I get some? Um, yeah, I'm. I just, I just feel like this is great. Kind of like, definitely could see you coming on a date. And mm -hmm. Will you take me on a date here? Oh, for sure. Um, and just coming. <laughs> 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 Come on.
coming and eating some really great food. I don't know what else to say about this. This is, yeah. this is yummy. Yummy time. Wonderful. Times. Well, thank you to Chef Craig. Thank you so much. And his... Amazing tattoos. Vanish. No, I was going to say Vanish. 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 Thank you to Chef Craig Vanish. That's right. And thank and you. And come to Bistro Vanish. Yes. Which is a play on his name. Play on his name. Vanish Vanish. Yeah. You say that. <laughs> I <Nice>. type that. <laughs> Vanish Vanish Vanish. Hey, good job. Um, yeah, come down here, grab some great food, and then you have some other eateries around which you can check out too if yeah. you want. Um, we are going to bring you, be bringing you more episodes here at Explore Vegan ATX. Check out all of our bonus content. Yes. And of course, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, Explore Vegan ATX. You'll find us here eating our faces off. Yes. And I'm Mihal. And I'm Dana. This is Explore Vegan ATX. <laughs> How you start a fire? Google. How do you start a fire?